What's up everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video I have a very exciting special thing to show y'all. Um, I got a package the other day from Grant over at Fellowship Blades and so I know that we've got some interesting stuff in here that I want to unbox so I've got my uh, Impusa out right now. This beautiful beautiful work of art from Grant and uh, I'm gonna crack right into here. So yeah this is Impusa number eight. Uh, which is very cool. This is similar to my um, JK Designs Emissary number eight. Love that thing. So uh, yeah, let's uh, crack on into what Grant has sent me and see what we got here. Now, I think that Grant's stuff, Fellowship Blades, uh, is an interesting story because I think his stuff is really slept on, truthfully. Um, and I'm not totally sure why. Uh, I if I had to guess, it probably has something to do with, like, the look of it. Um, you know, it's very unique, uh, which isn't a bad thing, but it is uh, a thing for sure. Oh, I see. The, uh, this is the... Is this the bottom of the box? Am I crazy? I think this lifts. Okay. I'm, like... This box is, like, black magic, apparently. There we go. I'm going to figure this out. Yeah, so his stuff is very unique looking, and I think people also assume that, like, because of the way it looks, it's also very expensive, um, which is actually not true, which is weird. Um, so, okay, that was much easier. Wow. All right. So we've got, looks like, two boxes in here. Very exciting from Fellowship. And then, oh, I love that. We've got this awesome little embroidered patch of a dude with a balisong who's like adjusting it. This is awesome. I really love this. Uh, this will go right onto my little um, my pouch. I'll stick that on there for sure. Oh, that's lovely. Um, then we have FLWSHP blades. Cool. Fellowship. And then Fellowship Blades from Hand to Forge. And then Fellowship Blades, like a bumper sticker type thing. I love all this. I love all the different branding he's got. Um, I'm a big fan of his, like, main logo itself, though. I, I think that the main logo just looks really cool because it's, like... I don't know, it's very I indicative of what his style is, it, and it matches his blades. His stuff is very, very... Ooh, Watch me drop my knife onto my feet. Um, his stuff is very, very interesting. His stuff is very unique. And I think that that's really cool because um, it leads to just a much more interesting uh, balisong in general. Like, I don't know. I, I've never seen somebody make a balisong like this. And that's the funny part is that I originally assumed that they would not flip well because of how chunky and enormous they look. But actually, they flip fantastically um, and feel incredible. So, yeah. All right. Let's jump to the actual unboxing. Which one should I open first? This one's like a little cracked open, so I feel like it, it, it's asking for me to open it first. But uh, we'll do that and then this one, I think. All right. What do we got? Ooh, holy moly. Oh, wow, that is so pretty. So this is a newer version of the handles, as you can see. Um, it's similar, it's very similar, but the handles are definitely different and they feel more premium for sure which is wild because this is actually a lower priced thing. This is production two, 410 stainless. This is a trainer. So the trainer is really interesting. Um, so this is the Medusa trainer. And then, uh, oh God, I'm immediately dropping it. So, yep, Medusa trainer. And this thing is really interesting because of the price that it has. Um, so when you look at these balisongs, I think that it... Uh, I'm not used to this. <laughs> um, when you look at these balisongs, I think it is immediately obvious. Like, it looks expensive, just, just from the look. Um, if you take into consideration some of the other channel titanium balisongs that exist, because remember, this is billet titanium that's been milled into this channel uh, situation. Um, 
What you end up having is a uh, interesting situation of, yeah, there's, um... They get very expensive quickly, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so, like, my... My Monarch was $1,100. The Orca is also eleven dollars to $1,200. And then you get into stuff like the Benchmade 87 and uh, some of the other ones. There are less expensive battle songs now. For instance, my Invictus, which is currently one of my favorite battle songs ever, is Channel Titanium. And it's $650 uh, online. I got it for $550 at Blade Show. But right now it's $650 online if you want to get it at Blade HQ or whatever. However, this... Balasong right here. This is $350, which is insane. Like, that's nuts. The fact that this is $350 is crazy. Um, I don't know how Grant is doing that, uh, but he is kind of going insane with the market because, like, I mean, look at, first of all, look at how gorgeous this is. This finish is insane. Um, I believe some finishes cost slightly extra, but I know it's not a lot extra. Um, and yeah, for 350 bucks, you get a very high quality trainer that is on bushings that has beautiful, solid titanium handles and like incredible impeccable machining and stuff like that. So Grant is absolutely a miracle worker when it comes to this stuff. Also, his hardware is just crazy. Like, look at that custom hardware. Oh my good lord. That's just... I love the look of his custom hardware. It's so cool. I don't know where he gets it from or if he makes it himself. I just know it's beautiful. Um, but yeah, I, it, it, it kind of blows my mind what he's able to offer value-wise because this, this is worth way more than $350. Like, that's nuts. Let's let's open up the other one and see what we got. Ooh, a sunset fade. Yeah. Oh, this one has speed channels. Whoa. So I know the speed channel is a little bit extra. I think the speed channel makes it like 375 or something like that. Because it's just extra processing time on the mill. Oh my god. Hmm, very interesting. Very interesting. The speed channel does make it a little bit faster. Also, it's got a bit bit more sound to it. Bit of a ring now. Um, of course, I like. I also like the ring. The the ring from the original uh, Empress Medusa. But uh, this also has a bit of a ring to it because of that speed channel. Very, very interesting. Hmm. I will say the flipping experience is slightly different than the original Medusa. Like, it doesn't feel quite the same as the first one. And I don't know if that has to do with the handles more or if that has to do with the... Uh, blade being different more. I, I don't know which. Um, it looks like both the handles are the same from speed channel to non-speed channel, so it does seem like the speed channel just is like an added process instead of like something that changes the entire structure of the handle. Um, like, it definitely feels almost the same. It is a very close experience. And as I said, this is $350 compared to normally for this, you'd be paying at least six to $800 for something of this quality. So I genuinely don't understand how Grant is pulling off such an incredible deal. Um, so, like, for the price alone, I think it's pretty damn worth it. But... It is different. So I, I, I plan on making a full review of these. I don't know how long that'll actually take, but comparing it to my Medusa and figuring out, like, why does it feel slightly different? What's the difference there? Is it in the handles or is it in the blade? Because this blade, I have a feeling, is relatively light, even though it has a shocking amount of tip weight. And I don't know that the Empress Trainer Blade matches the weight profile. It feels a little slower, I would say, immediately. Though that could also just be that I haven't applied uh, lube to this yet. Like, I keep my 
ballast songs well lubricated and this one might just not be as lubed as this guy is also this one's worn in much more so the um, feeling there is different so I'll have to actually that, that, that's why these unboxing videos don't make for very good review videos because like I am taking a product out for the first time and like playing with it for the first time and giving you my immediate feedback and like how I feel about it in the moment which is useful you know like I think that's a good thing to hear from someone uh, that you want their opinion of but at the same time like I've played with this thing for a long time now and I've played with a lot of my ballast songs for a very long time and so I have pretty intimate knowledge of like what I would say about them and like my opinions on them and stuff like that and when I'm unboxing something like this raw it's just not the same it's not possible for me to like immediately just give you a detailed um, feedback on the ballast song which is difficult because I really want to um, and I like I have opinions but then I'll like say an opinion and then like later I'll contradict that opinion uh, in the video or something because like I realized oh I was wrong or oh I, I like have a different opinion and that original opinion wasn't like perfect and I needed to adjust it in a way that would then like later make more sense so Man, I cannot stop dropping this thing. I think it's because it's so, it's so, it is so humid out and so hot out right now. I don't know if y'all have been dealing with this, but in Georgia right now, um, it is insane. It is so humid, so hot out. It's horrible. It's made it impossible to go outside and do, like, literally anything, uh, which really sucks because I like going outside and doing things. I was supposed to go out to, like, the woods. You know how I'll do Will Flips from the woods sometimes? I was going to go out to the woods and, like, do that, but instead it started to rain, so now I'm doing it from home. really wanted to do, like, a nice, pretty unboxing in the woods for the Fellowship Blade stuff, but hey, that's, that's life, baby. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I, I know my opinions aren't really, like, super thought out or solid in these unboxing-style videos, so I think I should almost definitely start making follow-ups for each one of these videos uh, to, like do an actual opinion piece after, right? So let me know in the comments, actually, if you want me to, like... Like, I could do that with the Squiddy AL, too. You know, I, I tried to give you my opinions then, and I had at least touched the Squiddy AL before, but I've never played with these uh, trainers before. And so I at least, like, had my opinions together on the Squiddy AL um, somewhat. And so when I got the final production version, it's like, okay, well, here you go. I'm just going to tell you some of the stuff that I know, and I'm going to react to this thing live as I'm trying it out for the first time. Wow, this, these latter are extremely good. <laughs> um, but uh, now it's like, okay, well, I am <laughs> experiencing this product for the first time. Should I just be, like, unboxing it and leaving my opinions just to, like, the things that I immediately notice? and then come back later and do like an actual mini review on this channel? Would you guys like that? Or do, would you like me to like try to force it <laughs> in one video? Um, so let me know in the comments if you want like more videos where I just like unbox it in one video and then review it in the next, or if you want me to like try to do it in one video. <laughs> um, either way, I will say I am impressed this thing does flip extremely well. Um, I was talking to Grant, and apparently the way that he does the names of each one is based off of the, the anodization that he does. So it's not based off of the handles, and it's not based off of the blade. It's based off of the anodization. So for the uh, Medusa trainers, they're all Medusa trainers, and then there's different names for these different colorways. So I don't know what these two specific colorways are, but I do know that like that's how Grant does it is he just, like, has specific anodizations that he does that he has named, and so, like, the actual finish is what you're getting that has that different name. Um, also, I think this one is satin and this one is bead blasted, or they're the same, and I can't tell. This one feels slightly rougher. This one feels slightly smoother, but it's, like, really minor. <laughs> the, the, the difference in, like, actual feeling between the hands. It's, it's very subtle. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Lots to think about here. Lots to think about here. But yeah, very beautiful ballast songs. Um, absolutely love what uh, Grant has accomplished and continues to accomplish. Uh, I really, really love 
my Impusa. I, you know, use it all the time on a regular basis. And uh, yeah, if you guys are interested, definitely check out Grant's website. I think he still has these in stock because I'm going to be honest, he's been having a hard time moving them, I think. Um, I don't know how hard of a time, but I think that people have been sleeping on these pretty hard, which is shocking to me considering their price being sub $400 for a full channel titanium, like billet milled balisong. That's insane, especially one that flips this good. So, you know, if you uh, if you think that people are sleeping on this stuff, feel free to give Grant some po some support and uh, check out fellowshipblades.com. There'll be a link in the description for all that stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm going to flip this more and I think I will come... Damn it. Um, I think I will at least like, I'll, I'll listen to the comments on this video and see, you know, what you guys think and like what I should do uh, in the future. But... I think I will, at least for this one, come back and make a second video, because I really do need the time. Some, especially when it comes to battle songs like this, there's just like, as soon as I start flipping them, I start noticing more and more small things, and I'm like, okay, well, like, what am I noticing? Why is that happening? Like, when I do this reverse fan here, and I notice it's slipping off my finger more easily, why is that happening? Is that happening because of the lube? Is that happening because of the tightness? Is that happening because of the bushings? Is it happening because of the balance? Is it the blade bias? I don't know. Um, and so that's why I spend a bunch of time experimenting and doing different tricks and dropping the ballast song over and over again and trying different configurations and stuff until I have a more intimate understanding of it. And then I can describe that to you in the full review. So, uh, hopefully I can come back and make like a more intricate review type thing for these guys. And then, um, when that is out of the way, I can, uh come back and and give you guys my full thoughts on these wonderful products so yeah uh thank you very much to grant over at fellowship blades for sending these over i'm excited to dig into them and uh learn a little bit more about their intricacies but uh yeah now if you'll excuse me i am literally drenched in sweat right now this is insane i am like sweating all over i don't know how hot it is out right now um okay wow do I not have... Where, where does the weather... It was right there. It's 96 is the high. 95 out right now. <sighs> it was... That's like cool too. Like it's been like 105 for the past two weeks or so. So 95 is actually kind of nice, which is unfortunate. Um, so anyways, I'm going to go inside now. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Uh, and I'll see you later, I guess. Peace.